Hello everyone, my name is Rishab Mishra and I welcome you all to the next lecture of our video series. In previous video, we have learned about verb conjugations of the verb haben und sein, haben and sein, to have and to be. We have learned the conjugations that how these verbs are changing according to the subject provided. Now, in this lecture, we will be learning four new verbs, okay, and their conjugation according to the subject. So let me tell you what are these four verbs. First one is Heisen. First verb is Heisen. Okay. Heisen means Heisen means to be called as. Heisen means to be called as. Second verb is Common. Common. This means to come third one is third one is wohnen third one is wohnen wohnen means to live fourth one is expression fourth one is expression expression means to speak So we'll be learning the conjugations of these four verbs. Just quickly pause the video and copy this down. Then I'll, then I'll be telling you about the verb conjugations. I hope you have done that. Now, as I've told you that you need to learn the correct order in which the subjects are being placed, like these personal pronomen in previous lecture, I've told you that you have to write it in this format. Ish, do, er, z, s, wear, ear, and z slash z. You have to learn in this order. Importance of learning it in this order is now I'm conjugate. I'll be conjugating verbs. Today, there are four verbs to be conjugated. In previous lecture, we have two verbs that we have conjugated. So in total, till now, we have six verbs that we've conjugated. But in upcoming lectures, there are plenty of verbs and we have to conjugate them. So this is the pattern in which I'll be conjugating each and every, each and every verb. Okay. And we have to remember each and every con conjugation. Whenever a verb comes, I have to remember it that, okay, with wear, what will come? With ear, what will come? Okay, because it is very important because uh, if in German you want to frame any sentence, you have to use a subject and you have to use a verb and then an object. If you are not thorough with the subjects only, if you are not thorough with the conjugation of the verb according to the subject, how can you make the sentences? And in exam, like in even exam, you have you are having letter writing, you are having email writing, okay, brief schreiben, email schreiben. So in that particular sense, we have to learn verb conjugation according to the subject. Now let us see. We have these verbs: I, you, he, she, it, we, you all, and they. Now, a first word is Heisen. Heisen. So I have to conjugate this verb heisen according to this. So first, uh, in first uh, conjugation, I'll say ish heiser, ish heiser, ish heiser. Second one, du heist, du heist. Third one, er sie es heist. Wir heisen. Wir heisen. Ihr heist. Ihr heist. Sie heisen. Sie heisen. 
ish haiza rishab this means i am called as rishab do highest some name sam you are called as sam r z s highest tom he is called as tom or she is called as maria anything we are hyzen this there's some group and the group wants to communicate that okay our group is named as this so they can say we are called as this so this means we are hyzen the name of the group ear hyzen you all are called as something z hyzen you are called as something or they are called as something this one is one z is for you in formal sense another z is for you uh, another z is for they that is third person plural if you have to make sentences you have to say that okay i am called as this you are called as this he or she is called as this you have to learn this this verb conjugation okay now next the next verb is common next verb is common ish comma ish comma i come ish comma aus indian i come from india okay du kommst aus deutschland this means you come from germany okay er kommt okay let's see what is the next du du kommst du kommst du kommst aus deutschland you come from germany er sie es kommt er sie es kommt wir kommen wir kommen we come from that particular place ear kommt you all come from some place okay ear kommt z z kommen z kommen next word wohnen wohnen okay ish wohne i live ish wohne i live ish wohne in bangalore so i live in bangalore next do wonst do wonst rzs won't rzs won't ear okay wir wohnen wir wohnen wohnen ear won't sie wohnen i understand this might sound you a little boring but yes this is very important you have to learn this in order to just introduce yourself you all need this next one is expression 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 means to speak okay so ish spreche ish spreche okay ish spreche okay ish spreche du sprichst sprichst du sprichst er sie es spricht spricht look at the changes here 
i this next one wear expression wear expression next one ear expressed ear expressed ear expressed and for z expression okay you can just pause the video and copy it down and then we'll be learning when we seeing this we'll be learning this okay here see ish heizer okay the verb is heizen okay we removed en from here we removed en from here and the word left with us is heize okay ish heizer do heist okay if we go like in straight line i'll say ish heizer ish comma ish wohna ish sprecher did you see any pattern in this next one do heist do comst do wonst do sprish i is there there's a change in this this doesn't follow the rule but yes you might get some idea that what kind of pattern they are following r z s heist comt wont sprist then for wear it follows it is same as the root word that infinitive word heizen kommen wohnen sprechen for ear for ear heist kommt wohnt sprecht okay this you have to learn actually for z again heizen kommen wohnen sprechen in order to learn these in order to learn this first we have to note that for ish for this part we just have to remove en and add e and we are done with this first line for this one for wear wear we have to use the same infinitive form verb that we have that we are using in earlier so this also we have done and similarly z is also learned so these three we have learned what is left what is left is do rgs and ear for do look comst is there okay st st and st with an i also you have to learn this separately but here this is heist okay so s is inbuilt in this because this s act has a pronunciation same as that of letter double s so that is why another s is not added in this but yes you can consider it as heist st in the end comst wonst sprist okay then for ear for ear and for rgs these all are same except that last one like heist heist comst comst wonst wonst sprist sprist okay so this is this kind of pattern you can make to remember these okay but you have to learn we'll be doing some exercises and we'll be seeing that okay how to learn these now you can uh, i think you have copied it down i hope you have copied it down now what we'll be doing is we'll be seeing some examples okay like if i have to translate i speak english i speak english second one i live in let's say berlin 
थर्ड वन थर्ड वन आई कम फ्रॉम इंडिया आई एम कॉल्ड एस रिशभ लेट्स सी आई हैव टू ट्रांसलेट दीज फोर सेंटेंसेज इन जर्मन लैंग्वेज हाउ कैन आई ट्रांसलेट इट ओके फर्स्ट आई विल सी दैट वट इज द सब्जेक्ट सब्जेक्ट इज आई सो वट इज आई इन जर्मन इट इज इश इश speak speak to speak what is the main root word for speaking it's expression and expression when conjugated with ish what it is called as expression okay so ish expression which language english english so what is english called in german it is called as english English, English, ish, expression, English. Next word. I live in Berlin. I live in Berlin. Again, I. I is ish, ish. Live means vohnen, vohnen. And for the vo word vohnen. what will come when the subject is ish what will be the verb conjugation for it vohna so i'll say ish vohna in ish vohna in berlin as simple as that ish vohna in berlin i come from india i come from india ish come for word come it's common and common is conjugated as comma so i'll say ish comma aus that is from indian india is called as indian in german indian india is called as indian in german i am called as rishab i have two ways to say this first one if i am saying i am called as rishab i'll say ish then to be called as this means i am like ish ish heize the word is heizen the root word is heizen for this i'll use heize and then rishab ish heize rishab again one more way to tell that okay i am rishab i am rishab this is the part which is which i have covered in which we have covered in our previous class i is ish am is been the verb sign ish been rishab did you get this point now if in this sentence i say okay you speak german in this sentence if i say you speak german i'm saying you speak german for this now I, here i am talking informally i'm talking informally so for you the word in the informal word is do for this the informal word is do so what i'll say do do and for speak the verb conjugation with respect to do is sprist sprist do sprist deutsch do sprist deutsch this is german in german language german in german is called as deutsch next one I live in Berlin. I'll say he lives in Frankfurt. Frankfurt. He lives in Frankfurt. So what I'll say? He for he the word is er er and lives means wohnen. 
and vohnen is to be conjugated with respect to this word er so what will be the conjugation er won't in frankfurt er won't in frankfurt i come from india okay let's say they come from uh, let's say not they you all in informal sense let's say in informal sense i'll say you all okay you come from china you come from china so how will i translate this i'll say you in informal sense and i am talking in plural sense in plural form i am talking to more than one person i'll say you all come from china so what i'll say for you all it is ear yes it is ear ear come now come is conjugated according to this word ear so it is comt the verb is comt aus china this word is called as china so ear comt aus china let's say i'm saying this in formal sense z okay not else i'm talking this in formal sense i'm saying you are called as you are called as something let's say what you are called as mr hanover you are called as mr hanover so how will i translate this i'll translate it as you in are called as mr this so i am talking this in formal sense and that too in singular form because i am talking to a single person and i am talking to him as saying you are called as something what i'll say i'll say z z heisen z heisen her for mr i use this word her hanover or for this i, I am rishab according to this sentence okay let's make one more sentence and uh, i'll say that okay she is called as she is okay just simple is she is maria she is maria for she is maria i'll say z okay z ist ist for is is m r okay is m r the word is sein okay to be and and with respect to third person singular okay third person singular the conjugation is ist z is maria z is maria let us see let us revise it again complete okay i speak english ich spreche english okay ich spreche english you speak german du sprichst deutsch i live in berlin ich wohne in berlin he lives in frankfurt er wohnt in frankfurt i come from india ich komme aus indien you come from china ihr kommt aus china here you is informal and in plural sense i am called as rishab ich heiße rishab you are called as mr hanover z heißen her hanover i am rishab ich bin rishab she is maria z is maria okay so you have to conjugate these verbs according to the subjects whatever be the subject ish do er z s wir ihr z again ish do er z s wir ihr and z you have to conjugate these verbs these uh, you have to conjugate verbs according to these subjects and then you can make sentences okay 
So, if you want, you can copy this down. I'm moving away from the board. I hope you have done that. So, in this lecture, we have learned the verb conjugation of the verbs expression, wohnen, common, and heisen. So, we have six, we have total six verbs that we have conjugated according to the subject. First one is haben, second one is sein, which we have done in previous lecture, then heisen, common, wohnen, and expression. Okay. So this is all for today and uh, if you like this video, click on like button, share among your friends and uh, subscribe to this channel. Thank you.